Welcome to the Bajoran Wormhole. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. If you're returning, thanks for the support. What makes many of the cultures in Star Trek so fascinating and so unique among sci-fi properties is that each one has its own distinctive characteristics and traits, strengths, and weaknesses. This reminds us very much of the signs of the Zodiac, unique personalities with their own qualities. So we've collected info on the most well-known races in order to give you some insight into yourself. Here is a list to see which alien race in Star Trek you are, based on your zodiac sign. First up we have the Ares, which are Andorian. We know little about the Andorians when we first met them in the original series episode Journey to Babel, but when they showed up again on Star Trek Enterprise some 35 years later, we got a much better look at them. Fiery and brash, driven by their feelings, Andorians are a stark contrast to their rival Vulcans, who are emotionless and logical. The blue-skinned Andorians could be said to be volatile, but it's not because they're overly emotional. It comes from their deep sense of self-assuredness. Next on our list is Taurus, and they are Bajoran. Sometimes described as introverted, it might be better to say that a Taurus is insular. They prefer to keep to themselves, though are not entirely averse to engaging with the greater community, because more than most, the Taurus likes things the way they are. While not against progress, they find changes to be uncomfortable upheaval and would prefer the warmth and comfort of what they know over the excitement of what is new and compelling. Next on our list is Gemini, which are the Cardassian. A Gemini loves to talk and won't stop because they love the sound of their own voice and think they are an expert on every subject. And sometimes they are. Intelligent and clever. They are incredibly charismatic too, which can balance out their loquaciousness and charm those around them, putting people at ease despite their sometimes off-putting quirks. Next on our list is Cancer, and they are the Betazoid. Described as an emotional pack male, those born under the sign of cancer are highly sensitive and empathetic. They can have a caring nature that comes natural to them. They are helpers and do-gooders, and look to improve the world around them through whatever means they can. Most often this takes the form of being a trusted friend and counsel to those who need help, but they also carry great sadness, whether because of trauma in their own past or because their empathetic nature sees them absorb other people's problems so readily. Next up is the Leo, and we have the Ferengi. Leo, the sign of the lion, can be described as a vibrant star, an entertainer with a theatrical flair. They are charismatic and have a way with words, often dazzling others with their wit. Confident and overzealous, they have a big ego and are always looking for recognition. But most of all, Leos thrive on ambition and wish to climb the ladder of success. Growth drives them, expansion motivates them. Up next is the Scorpio, and we have the Borg. Cold and steely-eyed, the Scorpio is a misunderstood sign, often said to be untrustworthy, unscrupulous, and even soulless. But their dark nature can be attributed mostly to their stoic personality in insular nature. Scorpios don't make friends, they absorb others into their orbit through sheer force of will, with their enigmatic nature often bringing others close out of sheer curiosity. Endlessly fascinated by everything in their environment, they see those around them as little more than science experiments and are always looking to poke and prod beneath the surface to understand what makes them tick. Up next we have Libra and its Trill. A walking puzzle, the Libra is a constant stream of contradictions, simultaneously extroverted and introverted, strategic and spontaneous, focused and initiative, according to the Zodiac experts. They are a wondrous mixture, a perfect blend and swirling sea of different personalities, and because of this can often take a long time to understand themselves. This is as true of the symbiont trills as anyone we've ever seen in Star Trek, a race of beings who are quite literally a combination of many people. And now we have the Virgo, which are the Vorta. Virgos are peculiar and particular people. They are perfectionists, are obsessive about details, and live their lives in an orderly fashion. They often make good assistance and help others because they are devoted to caring for others and servicing the needs of their closest friends and family. Some more dominant signs, like Aries and Scorpio, view the Virgo as weak, but others like the Taurus or the Cancer admire the Virgo for their selflessness and lack of self-centeredness, as they are rarely motivated by their own needs. Despite being extremely intelligent, they can struggle with expressing their thoughts, 
not because they are inarticulate, but because they themselves find it hard to understand what they are feeling. Next up we have the Capricorn, which are Vulcan. One of the first alien races ever seen in Star Trek, the Vulcans are most known for their repression of emotion and their logical nature, but they are also noble and dutiful, motivated by a sense of moral and ethical responsibility. This makes their race akin to the Capricorn, a selfless Zen philosopher who is never one to seek attention. The Capricorn is also ambitious with a keen awareness of what is needed to achieve their goals. Their relatively small ego does not mean they are without pride, and like Vulcans who hide it well, they can often be bruised by attacks on their abilities. Up next we have Sagittarius, and they are the Klingons. A Sagittarius is loud and opinionated. Led by raw emotions and fierce personalities, they are difficult to contain. Still, the sign is also marked by a cleverness and wisdom that most do not expect based on their rough exterior. At times, the Sagittarius can be downright philosophical and lyrical, making the classic metaphor of warrior poet quite an apt description of them. They fight hard for the things that they believe in and live their truth as ruthlessly as they might swing a blade. Next up we have Aquarius, and they are the Romulan. A Romulan can defy conventional description because like humans we have seen so many different faucets to them. Some Romulans are militant and obsessively close-minded, while others seek enlightenment and wisdom, but all share a deep search for knowledge and a certain suspicious nature that borders on paranoia. Such attributes are emblematic of the Aquarius, who is always questioning, always skeptical, and always hiding deeper thoughts just under the skin. Duty-bound, Romulans share with the Pisces the fundamental nature of even hardness, not quite selfless, but a belief in the communal good. Romulans apply this belief ruthlessly to the advancement of their own people and at the expanse of others. Next up we have Pisces and the Ocampan. It's said that those born under the skin of the Pisces are both 5 and 50 years old, at the same time meaning they have both a childlike innocence and a world-weary wisdom. It may seem contradictory, but to the Pisces it's an eternal balance that gives them a unique perspective, able to recognize both the troubles and the wonders that surround them. They are able to get more out of life than most thanks to their special outlook. A Pisces dreamy personality sees all possibilities, which often makes them boundlessly optimistic, believing strongly in the beauty of existence and all they can accomplish, even in cases when it borders on pure fantasy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.